Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh, sounds like he's coming. He's coming any second now. There you are, Charlie. What's in that box you have? Oh, I see. We have to wait. Right. Can you show us yet? Please, Charlie. Wow! New trainers! Charlie, they're amazing! Your trainers have got lights in them. They're the most amazing trainers ever. Yes, they're perfect for dancing. What is it, Charlie? The room is too bright. I see. If it is darker, then you'll see the lights on your trainers better. It's still not dark enough for you. Don't worry, Charlie. You'll just have to wait until it gets dark tonight. Um, Charlie, what are you doing? You couldn't wait for tonight, Charlie. I should have known. Wow, they're much brighter now. I know, do five steps with your left foot. One. Two, three, four, five. Yes! Now do five steps with your right foot. One, two, three, four, five. Yes! Now do ten steps on the spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> What is wrong? You looked fantastic. The moon is making it too bright. This is as dark as it gets, Charlie. You can't turn off the moon. Where did that come from? Huh? Oh, I see. You can turn off the moon. Hey! Oh, yeah. You got the moves. Bravo, Charlie. Bravo! Hey! Did you see those green lights, too? But I can't see anything now. How strange. Where did those green lights come from? There must be another dancer in the dark, Charlie. One that disappears when you turn the moonlight back on. Are you going to turn the moon off again? Don't you like the dark anymore, Charlie? Well, I think that you're a braver little bear than that. You are a brave little bear, aren't you, Charlie? Good. Then why don't you have a look for... Oh, 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 look behind you, Charlie. The dancer was there. It's Niblet. I saw him. Oh, oh, again. Behind you, Charlie. He was there. He was. I did see him. 
Oh, look out! Now you see him too. Ah, oh, that's nice. Niblet's trainers light up just like yours, Charlie. <laughs> you both look fantastic. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Oh, it really is a beautiful sunny day outside, Charlie. Too sunny for staying inside in the dark, wouldn't you say? Bye-bye, Charlie. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Where is he? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh, there you are, Charlie. Oh, is Rivet going to ski down that slope? Oh, never mind. Try again, Charlie. <laughs> oh, dear. Go on, Charlie. Rivet might make it all the way down this time. What's that, Charlie? Rivet should watch you. <laughs> oh, you're not going to slide down on your feet, are you? Well, it is a little bit harder on skis. Yes, Charlie. I'm sure Rivet's got it now that you've shown him how. Don't be surprised. Skiing isn't easy. Well, Rivet thinks it's hard. Maybe it is hard. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> Don't worry, Charlie. Being on skis really isn't easy. Oh, look at Rivet go. He can ski. What's that? You're good at skiing too, Charlie Bear. Are you sure you can do what Rivet did, Charlie? Oh, what's that? Does it pull you up the slope? Be careful! Oh, even going up doesn't look easy. Dear Charlie, a few exercises before you set off. Yeah, stretch it out. Will you be going down soon? Oh, just a few more exercises. Can't be too careful. Is it time now? easy. Okay, keep practicing before you try anything harder. Oh, don't 
don't go too far up, Charlie. Oh, dear. Charlie, it's much steeper now. Whoa! Watch out! Oh, Charlie, be careful! Did you mean to do that, Charlie? Oh no, Charlie, I don't think I can watch you do that again. Are you sure you can do this, Charlie? <laughs> Being a snowman is easier than skiing down a mountain, isn't it? <laughs> it's amazing what you can do with your imagination. So no more skiing then, Charlie. Oh, yes. Sledging is much easier. Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Will you help me call him? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh! There you are, Charlie. What have you been looking for? You've been looking for your camera? camera, Charlie. <laughs> so what are you going to take a photo of then, Charlie Bear? Hey! I wasn't ready. That's not even my best side. <laughs> what else do you want to take a photo of? Apart from me, that is. You don't know? <laughs> Must be something interesting enough to take a photo of. Not even Frozo. Oh, are you not going to take a photo after all? Are you going to the beach instead? You've come to the beach to take a photo. Oh, there will be all sorts of lovely things to photograph here. What a pretty shell. in the sand. What are you going to photograph next, Charlie Bear? Oh, very nice. A pebble sculpture. That will make a great photograph. It's Frozo! Oh, you don't want Frozo in your photo, Charlie. 
He's not going to move, Charlie. He just thinks you're waving to him. There are lots of other amazing things to take pictures of. It's Frozo again! <laughs> now that would be a funny photograph. A seagull and Frozo in the sky with a beach ball. Oh, well, I think it would be a funny photograph. Ah, yes, a photo of the sea. The beautiful, big, empty sea. Frozo won't be in there, will he? He is in there! Oh, dear. Wait, Charlie, where are you going? Wow, Frozo is fast. There must be some way you can take a photo without Frozo getting in the way. took a photo of Frozo, made him happy, and now he is going. And now you can take whatever photograph you like without Frozo. <laughs> Are you laughing at the photos you took before? <laughs> look oh, look at them, brilliant, Charlie. I think Frozo would like those too. <laughs> oh, that's nice. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Wow, that's a great background you've drawn for your photo, Charlie Bear. Oh, I love this photo of you both. Bye-bye, <laughs> little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everyone. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Where is he? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh, there you are, Charlie. And I love your wand. You're a fairy, aren't you? <laughs> but I thought you made a very nice fairy, Charlie. Oh, are you bossing everyone around, Charlie Bear? Oh, I see. You're not a fairy, you're a sheriff. And that's your sheriff's badge. Everyone has to do as you say. Is that right, Charlie? Looks like a real Wild West town. You're in the right place to be a sheriff now, Charlie. Except there doesn't seem to be anyone here for you to boss around. There's Caramel and she's a horse. Caramel the horse. You want to ride Caramel? Hmm, I think she's busy drinking her carrot juice, Charlie. Mm -hmm. 
Lassie. Caramel is still thirsty, Charlie. Whoops! Careful, Charlie. Oh, dear. You really are being very bossy, Charlie Bear. No wonder Caramel won't do what you want. She wants to finish her drink. What's that? You're the sheriff, so Caramel should do as you say. Oh, I don't think she wants to go that way, Charlie. Or that way either. Caramel is a horse who won't be bossed around, Charlie. Maybe you should just get off and let her finish her carrot juice. Oh, I see. You want Caramel to jump over the tree stump. Just let Caramel do what she wants, Charlie. Mm. I'm not sure that showing her how to jump over the tree stump is going to work either. Caramel probably already knows how to do it. She just doesn't want to. I don't think begging will work either. Oh, it did work. Here goes, Charlie. Hold on tight. Dear Charlie, you're not going to be cross with Caramel, are you? <laughs> yes, Charlie Bear. That's a much better way to treat a horse. All done. Are you going to boss Caramel around any more, Charlie? Wouldn't you still like a ride, though? Mm. Oh, yes, you're right. Only if that's what Caramel wants to do. Hold on tight, Charlie. Yee-haw! Oh, bravo, Charlie and Caramel. You see, Charlie? You got what you wanted when you stopped being bossy. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Are you still being a sheriff, Charlie, now that you've stopped being bossy? Oh, I see. Caramel's the sheriff now. <laughs> well, I hope she doesn't boss you around too much. Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. See you again soon. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Where is he? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh, well, there's Bellerina and Niblet. <laughs> They're doing a show. Now, I wonder who could be making Bellerina and Niblet perform. I knew it! Bravo, Charlie! I wonder what Niblet and Bellerina are going to do next. Ah, so Niblet loves playing football. What's Bellerina saying, Charlie? Aha! Uh -huh. Bellerina loves playing football too. Good kick, Bellerina. And now Niblet wants another go, does he?
Are they arguing about who is going to have the next kick? Hold on. They're not arguing. You're making them argue, Charlie. I know you're just pretending, but arguments are not funny, Charlie. If you really did have to stop these two arguing, it wouldn't be funny now, would it? Wow! What an amazing football stadium! Well, if you've got a whistle and you're on a football field, Charlie, then you must be a referee. But who are the players? Niblet and Bellerina, of course! Blow your whistle and let the game begin, Charlie. Uh, that doesn't seem like a good way to start a game of football. Are they still arguing, Charlie? Start the game properly, Charlie. You are the referee. I love to watch football. Come on! Uh, at least I think I'm watching football. Maybe it's just an argument on a football field. Charlie, do something, please. Nibble and Bellerina are out of control. A yellow card. That's a warning to them to play the game properly. After that comes a red card, and that means they're not allowed to play anymore. They're even shaking their bottoms at each other. <laughs> The referee is showing them the red card. Uh, actually, Charlie, that's a pink card. That's green. That's blue. That's brown. How many cards do you have, Charlie? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's the red card. The referee has sent them off. Oh, dear. What else could you do, Charlie? They weren't playing football. Instead, they were just arguing all the time. It's not funny, though, is it? <laughs> everyone feels absolutely awful, don't they? Arguments always make everyone feel bad. But how do you think you can stop everyone feeling awful? Yes, a hug. A hug always makes you feel better. Phew, I'm so pleased. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Oh. Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? 
There you are, Charlie. Hey! What are you doing? You've made Midge into a marionette puppet. Fantastic! What else can Midge do, Charlie? Oh, is he getting tired? How do you think you can wake him up a bit, Charlie? Whoa! Charlie, be careful! I don't think Midge would like to wake up that way. You reckon that Midge does like being flung about the place? But imagine if someone was making you do something like that. Wouldn't be much fun, would it? You do think it would be fun. Hmm. I'm not sure I agree with you, Charlie. Charlie, you're a real marionette puppet on stage and everything. Wow, amazing dancing, Charlie. Bravo, Charlie, bravo. No time for another bow. Looks like your next performance is going to start now. <gasps> uh, Charlie, doesn't look like you're ready for some of those dance moves. Are you sure you're OK? Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Those were the biggest horizontal and vertical dance moves I've ever seen. Oh, you don't know what horizontal and vertical means? Well, horizontal means sideways or, <laughs> yes, side to side. Good. And vertical, well, vertical means up... <laughs> yes, up and down, exactly. Whew. You're finished for the moment. Right. Uh, bravo, Charlie, I think. What's wrong, Charlie? Oh! You need to go to the toilet. <laughs> Oh, my goodness! You're being pulled back! Oh, no, Charlie, you're being made to dance again! Oh, Charlie, this is terrible! You have to keep trying to get there! Go on, Charlie! You can do it! You can! You have to get to that toilet! Oh, no! That's it, Charlie. Keep trying. Now what are you going to do? You're free! And now you're doing what you want. Good for you, Charlie.
It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Mitch will be pleased to have those strings taken off. Did Mitch say something, Charlie? Oh, that's nice, Charlie. Is that to make him nice and comfortable? You would do anything for Mitch, wouldn't you, Charlie? Of course you would. Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, Mitch. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Where is he? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? There you are, Charlie. What are you making? It's a trophy, isn't it? Fantastic! You must have done something extra special to get a trophy. What did you do? Oh, you didn't do anything. Don't worry, Charlie. How about doing something extra special now? I've seen you do star jumps before. Do you think that was extra special? Imagination. Are you a are you a, are you a monster? Okay, you're not a monster. Uh, are you being chased by a monster? Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. You're driving a car. It's the Little Charlie Bear Supercar Race! You are imagining that you are a racing car driver. This is extra special. Which car will you race, Charlie? The red one. Good choice. Solid choice, Charlie. Always go red. Drivers, take your places for the Little Charlie Bear Supercar Race! What can you see through your telescope, Charlie? Ah, trophies. You have to race to get a trophy, Charlie. Drivers, get ready! Get steady! Go! 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 Charlie, go! The wind-up key. That's so nice and helpful of them. Go on, Charlie! Look out, Charlie! Oh, watch where you're driving, Charlie! Whoa! Whoa! Good driving, Charlie Bear! Really good! Up to Niblet. Slow down for the bump, Charlie. Charlie? Now you're catching caramel in the blue car. Oh, no! You're 
Kalkani's winding up again. How are you going to cross the finishing line now, Charlie? The wind-up key. Charlie, shouldn't you wind Niblet in Caramel's cars too? Hmm? Well done, Charlie. That's extra special helping out your friends. Ready, steady, go! An extra special effort to complete the little Charlie Bear supercar race! Well done, Charlie Bear. You got your trophy. Fantastic racing car, Charlie. Wow! It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Whoa! <laughs> Steady, Charlie. Oh, dear. I think you should tidy up your toys, don't you, Charlie? Even if you do have a trophy, you still have to tidy up. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. See you again soon. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh, there you are. It's a very red and shiny pair of wellies you're wearing, Charlie. Oh, yes. They look lovely. Whoops! <laughs> Do your wellies look even better from down there? So, um, why are you wearing wellies indoors, Charlie? You're a cow jumper. No. A cow rusher? Oh, you're being a farmer. What else are you going to do on your farm, Charlie? <laughs> I'm not sure that farmers just jump in muddy puddles, Charlie. Being a farmer is harder work than that. <laughs> Excellent splashing, Charlie. Wow! What a big farm you've got, Charlie! And there are a lot of muddy puddles in it, too. Maybe I was wrong about being a farmer. It does look like a lot of fun. Splish. Splash. Splosh. Which one is the biggest puddle, Charlie? That's huge. One, two, three. Ooh, what was that? Have a closer look. It's not the tree making that noise, Charlie. Rivet is one of your sheep, Farmer Charlie, and he's stuck up that tree. I think you have to rescue Rivet the sheep before you can do any more puddle jumping, Charlie. Getting a ladder? A trampoline? I didn't know that's how farmers get their sheep out of trees. Oh, 
<laughs> well done, Farmer Charlie. Mm. Hold on. What's that sound? Surely it's not Rivet the Sheep in trouble again. It's Caramel. I think she might be hungry, Charlie. Are you getting some nice green grass? Cows love eating grass. Or a cupcake. Yes, I suppose cows might like cupcakes. Oh! <laughs> is still hungry. Where did you get that cupcake, Charlie? Watch out, Farmer Charlie. Caramel has gone cupcake crazy. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Niblet's hutch is broken. Now you need to repair Niblet's hutch, Charlie. Well done, Farmer Charlie. Farmer Charlie? I think they all want to play puddle jumping with you. I'm not surprised you're tired, Charlie. Being a farmer was a lot of hard work after all. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Uh, Charlie, there are muddy welly prints to clean up. Yes, now! Farmers always clean up after themselves. Hey! That looks like fun, too. Bye-bye, <laughs> little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Oh. Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? That looks like a fish hook. But there are no fish in there to catch. That's Midge! Someone caught Midge! It's you, Charlie! You're fishing in your toy box! I bet Midge was surprised. What else will you catch? Ballerina! A shoe? And now a tennis racket! Brilliant! A lot of great catches, but not one fish. Have you ever caught a real live fish before, Charlie? Would you like to? Wait! She can't catch your goldfish, Charlie. She wouldn't like being caught. Not at all. You don't have to catch a real live fish. You can carry on fishing in your toy box. It's just as much fun. Maybe even more fun. Wow, Charlie, you're in a boat in the middle of the ocean. I guess you are going to do some fishing for real fish. Oh, this is nice, Charlie. Just the sound of the seagulls, the warmth of the sun, and the gentle bobbing of the boat. Fishing is very relaxing, you know. I was just... Oh! Did you feel a nibble? Have you caught something? Is it a fish? A 
an ice skate? Well, that's unusual. Oh, hold on. Maybe this is a... a teapot. An umbrella? A train? And even a bunch of broccoli? Well, people just shouldn't throw things in the ocean, especially broccoli. I love broccoli. How many things have you caught now, Charlie? One, two, three, four, five. Five things, but still no fish. Where are all the fish today? Whoa, please sit down, Charlie. Phew. No more standing up and rocking the boat, please. Oh, are you going off to find some fish? on the end of your line, Charlie. Oh, maybe it got away. Whoa! No, it's back again. And it's not going away. Whoa, it's so strong. It must be a huge fish you're trying to catch, Charlie. It is a huge fish. A massive fish. Maybe even a shark. Hold on, Charlie. Just hold on tight. You'll be okay. Charlie? You're all the way over there now. Charlie, how will you get out of this? Oh! <laughs> ah. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. You didn't really want to catch a real live fish, did you, Charlie? <laughs> bye bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Where is he? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh, there you are, Charlie. And you're being a chicken. I love it when you do that. Go on, pretend to lay an egg. You're not a chicken. Oh, OK. Let me guess again. Ah, I know. Are you a chicken that's sweeping up? Oh, I know. It's a guitar. You're being a pop star. <laughs> You're showing off a bit like a pop star too. Is it fun? You've certainly got a lot of fans, Charlie. Are you going to play a big concert for everyone? Wow, that's a nice car, Charlie. Is it taking you to the pop concert? Oh, couldn't you have walked that far, Charlie? Wow, you're 
famous. Oh, look, Charlie, it's your dressing room. Wow. Check you out. You're a real pop star. You look amazing. Is that a silver cape? Oh, it really brings out the colour in your fur. Are you going to play your concert now, Charlie? Oh, someone else is on first. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our first act tonight. MC River! Rivet was amazing. And he was just the first act. I can't wait to see how amazing you are going to be. Next, tonight, please welcome the stupendous Ballerina. That is absolutely magnifique. Oh, look at that turn. She's incredible, isn't she, Charlie? But you must be even better. I can't wait. You're on next. What's the matter? You're not worried, are you, Charlie? You're not getting stage fright. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the incredible, the greatest pop star ever, Charlie. Charlie, it's okay. Come out. You don't need to worry. You'll be an amazing pop star. The crowd will love you just like they've loved everyone else. Go on, Charlie. Be a pop star. Charlie? Charlie! Oh no, poor Charlie really does have stage fright. Come on, Charlie, you can't stay in there forever. It's okay. Don't worry, you can do it. You've got a big silvery outfit, just like a pop star, haven't you? And you've got an amazing star-shaped guitar, just like a pop star would have. See? All your friends know you can do it. They think you'll be amazing. Are you going on stage? Go on, Charlie. You can do it. I know you can. Charlie Bear, you really are a pop star. And Rivet and Bellerina are pop stars too. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. See you again soon. <laughs> <laughs>